Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Destiny 2's Jotun Toaster. Um, so, let's get into it. Here is our box. Very excited. If I'm looking back and forth, i got multiple angles going on, so I'm trying to manage that accordingly. So here's our box, trusty scissors. Now, you know, I'm not really sure what I was expecting when I ordered this. I just, you know, the pre-order, I can't remember if the pictures were available when we pre-ordered it. Because, I, I mean, I was one of the first, I feel like. You know, as soon as they announced it, I was on it. I wanted it super bad. And I want to, oh, oh, oh. Damn, that's crazy. Did I just, uh... Okay, I hope that footage isn't useless. Like, I just fucking doxed myself. Fucking idiot. As soon as it came out, I, I wanted it super bad. Um, and then, you know, as I saw the pictures come out for what it was, uh, I didn't know if I was gonna want it as much as I thought. You know, I really wanted it to be like the actual Jotun, so... Let's get into it. Um, first, uh, unboxing. This is actually pretty cool. So you have the Destiny logo. And then it says Tot Toten. The toaster, Jotun inspired toaster with sandwich holder. So that's actually really funny. We can see what it looks like on the back as well. And we have the um, markings from the uh, Forge families. Very cool. Is there one on the bottom? No. Curious. So, trying not to be super crazy with this, but... Anyways, I'm not, I'm not upset. I just wish it looked like the actual Jotun exotic fusion rifle um, from the game. But, that being said, you know, it, it does have to be a toaster, I understand that. Maybe a toaster oven would be more original uh, Jotun shape-like. But, alright, here we go. I'll give you guys the front view. Uh, no, never mind. I'm getting this. So we're gonna go here. Alright, so already we can see some... Some time has been spent in the packaging a little bit, or at least making the box look cool when you open it. Okay, so cardboard. Here's our holder. All right, so that's gonna be our sandwich holder. Um, that's cool, it's got the Bungie logo on it. It says official product. Yeah, you definitely can't see it with that angle. But that is our our toast holder. So if you uh, to warm them up, you got your sandwich, you're ready to go. Take it on the go. Let's pull the actual yo yo toaster out. The yo toaster. Okay. So let's do this. Interesting. All right. So immediately, right off the bat. It's, you know, it's like this kind of clay green, kind of like an army green. Um, it's glossy, looks nice. The inside of it, uh, pretty cool. You can actually see the Destiny logo inside and how it would, uh, you know, put the Destiny uh, tricorn on there. Um, on the bottom, you can see it's like vented. <sighs> okay, so you can see how it's vented. Um, and you can put the cord through here so it's not like standing on it. Cool, we like that. Tuck in the cords. Um, overall size, you know, I uh, actually do have a ruler right here. So let's grab it. Let's make use of it. So it's about... Uh, 
about six and a half inches high. And about, I'd say about nine inches long. Um, so, I mean, this isn't really that big. It's not overly big. You can see our front interface. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, it seems pretty, doesn't seem too crazy. You can see it uh, clamping down on the inside. Um, I don't know, I'm not really super experienced with toasters, so I don't really know what to compare this to. I mean, we do have a little four-way toaster. Uh, this is kind of, okay, I was going to say it's kind of goofy because I can't tell where it is, but you can see the marker is right there. So you can see that, that's how you know how much you're about to bake your uh, bread based off of the uh, marking. It's at the top now. You can't see it. But, okay. Um, you know what? We gotta fire it up. We gotta see how this uh, bad boy performs. You know, I wanna I wanna get the full experience. So, uh, my family's probably like, what the fuck? It's like one in the morning. I'm about to make some toast in my room. Can I? Can a regular outlet handle the toaster? I mean, it should be fine, right? It's not going to be like. I don't know. Is it as powerful as a blow dryer? I wouldn't think so. A little, little rotation. You know what I'm saying? I kind of don't like the yellow, but I mean, I understand why it's there. It's like a. It's kind of like a muted mustardy kind of color. Earth Tony. Um, on the cord, we do have this uh, neat little bungee marking um, or logo. It says 2021. Funny. Since no one would have gotten these in 2021. Um, but that's interesting. It makes sense with them making them way before we got them. Um, let's try it out. I googled if I could use it in my room. It just says don't plug it into a power strip. That's what I got. A, that's what I got the uh, extension cord for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, one sec. All right. So here we go. Here it is. Here's the piece of piece of bread here. Um, should we get a thumbnail? We're gonna drop this bad boy in there. Oh, guys, it's too, it's a little thick, so, uh, okay. What the hell, Bungie? They fucking nerfed the toaster before we even got it. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go see what other kind of bread we got. Some thinner bread. Okay. Be right back. That took longer than it should have, and I'll explain why. So we don't really typically get regular ass bread. So the garlic bread I grabbed, uh, that's probably not a good candidate. So then we go to a slice of gluten-free bread, little baby. Um, and this one might not be big enough. So you know what, whatever. We're gonna try the little gluten-free piece, piece of bread and uh, we'll see what we can get. I'm now realizing that it only toasts the inner side, so either this side or this side. So that's, that's you know, important to know which side you're toasting here. So, all right, we're on setting of two. Let's, let's do the thing, what, we are, what we're here for. We are cooking. We are sizzling. That is getting hot, I gotta say. I wonder if I'm gonna fucking like melt my uh my pad underneath. It's gonna be our, our placement. I'm gonna just kind of <gasps> That scared me. Of course that one was moving. Alright, so it looks like it's done. Now I don't know what you guys are expecting here. I don't know what I'm expecting either. 
This is really hot. So I am just don't want to burn myself here. Okay. Hmm. Well, as you can see, there's not even a symbol. So let's toast longer. Okay, okay, so that was just user error. I didn't cook it long enough, I guess, because the thing like gets smaller and smaller every time it cooks. So you can see now, we have, <laughs> we have what looks to be a little tricorn symbol. Obviously the toast is tiny, it's moving further down in the thing, so you know what, I said fuck it. Nothing's gonna hurt it from it being a little fat of a piece of bread. Because we're trying to get that, we're trying to get that iconic tricorn symbol, you know. So we'd need to know if it's possible or not. But I'm gonna push it down a little bit. All right, here we go. This is the one. We might have to cook it twice. For that sake, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up to three. This is fluffy white bread though, so it should toast a lot easier than this one did. Okay, I mean, you can see it, it's legible. I think this one's gonna come out a lot better. And then we'll confirm, you know, here. That's a really good toast. It toasted that really well. I'm not hungry for toast right now, but if I was, that piece is ready to go. A little grainy because of the gluten-free aspect of it, but Let's move this out of the way. A little bit of wisps, a little... Here we go. Moment of truth. I'm excited. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to move our gluten-free piece over here. Wow. Ooh, that's hot. Look at that. <laughs> Now that's, that's what I am talking about. You cannot mistake that. That is a tricorn piece of bread. Now, what I'm, what I'm seeing here is I didn't, I didn't push it down as much as I could have because I didn't know how big the framing was of the inside of it. So that just kind of shows you can, you can push it down a little bit more and it would have been perfect. Had this not have been an inch thick, we would have gotten a perfect one. Let's see if we can get the other side. I'm gonna push the other side down a little bit more. I wanna take a bite of it so bad. Cause I feel like if I go any more, it's gonna just fucking burn it. It smells good. Let's just do light. We'll do a really light one. You know, just to see what happens. Okay. Let's get to the important stuff and uh, let's try this piece of toast while well, it's still warm. I'm wondering how it like the you know how it burns the image in. Does it like still taste burnt or is it just barely not burnt enough to where it doesn't taste bad? Like how do they make sure it doesn't taste burnt? You know what I'm saying? Otherwise people wouldn't use it. Or is it just so novelty that like they're like whatever they'll enjoy burnt toast. You know, just realized this whole time I'm not, God, absolute pleb energy out here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. We're all good to go. That's hot. Hmm. What I'm curious is, can I taste the symbol, you know, like, Hmm. I'm just gonna say no. You can see 
Like, it's not really burning through the bread. God, it, it just wants to focus on my hands so bad. I mean, yeah, it's bright. But you can, you can tell it's not burning through the toast. I mean, it's just... It's just getting the top there. Want a bite? So... No. You can't taste the symbol. That is not an issue tasting the symbol. I think that about does it. Testing the uh, official Destiny 2 Jotun styled toaster. Toaster with sandwich holder. We didn't put the sandwich in the holder. Jotun inspired toaster with sandwich holder. So that's the official boxing. I, yeah, I think we tested it pretty well. Does it work? Yes. Don't try to use garlic bread or gluten free bread. The gluten free will work if it's big enough, like a middle slice somewhere. Um, it doesn't taste any different. It does a really good job. I was worried about it burning the symbol and then like you tasting the burnt symbol part. Um, try not to use bread over a thick inch of thickness. Overall, I'm going to give, so, functionality, I mean, it's a fucking toaster. What more is it supposed to do? It toasts things. So, so, I mean, it works. 10 out of 10. I didn't have any issues with it. it seems to work. Perfectly fine. Let's see, can we abort? Let's see if we can abort. So we go in. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's cooking. We're going to click the abort button. So, I mean, yeah, it works. It, is it functional? Yeah, totally. 10 out of 10. Can it make the tricorn? Yeah, totally. 10 out of 10. No problem. I feel like the issue was me not having just standard white, typical non-thick bread. Non-thick cut bread. So... Um, style-wise, I'm going to give it a 5. I mean, it's interesting. Honestly, no. I'm going to give it a 3. It's interesting, and I mean, we got hands on it. But, like, there's really not much going on for it. It doesn't say Destiny anywhere. It just got the fucking hands. I guess the point is it's supposed to look like Yoden, so maybe I'm being harsh. I give it a five. It's pretty boring. I wish they would have done more with it, made it more look like the actual gun and kind of glow or be like see through or something. Um, we got this little like tray at the bottom. What does this even do? Oh, it's to clean it out. That's cool. Is that normal for toasters to have these? I didn't even know they had that. Or how do I even put it back? So, yeah, that's that's kind of helpful, I'm not going to lie. I, I made a huge ass mess on my desk, though. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, functionality. Functionality, 10 out of 10. It's a toaster. Does it burn the image? Yes, it burns the image. Does it taste any different? Does it burn it? No, like, it, it doesn't taste any different. Totally works. Style-wise, I'm going to give it, like, a 5. It's just, I, I wish it would have been a lot more true to either the Yoten gun or just been more unique I'm not really a huge fan of like the navy the dark military green kind of look reminds me of like a a gun like this is like a color of a gun or something I don't know um overall was it worth it I don't even remember how much it was okay so cost was it worth it 
Um, it was a hundred and five bucks with tax, eighty five bucks. Mm. To be honest, you could probably get a fancier toaster for sure for the same price, like one of those four slot ones. You know, and you can probably get some extra features with it, or it'll look cool. I don't know, I'm pretty sure toasters aren't that expensive. So, yeah, would I recommend it? Not really. But, you do get to flex with the with the toaster emblem in-game, which is, I mean, has its own perks. So, you know, exclusive toaster emblem in-game. Then you get the thing in real life to toast stuff. If you don't have a toaster and you're a fan of Destiny or Bungie, uh, more, yeah, you're a fan of Destiny, sure, worth it. Worth it. You get your emblem. You get your tricorn burned images on your toast. Can't imagine uh, your partner's going to be, like, thrilled about having tricorn logos grilled onto all of their stuff that they toast but it's harmless it's funny right you know it's a good joke so yeah go for it if you don't have a toaster but if you already have a toaster nah this isn't the purchase don't do it um that's kind of my closing thoughts so yeah for the price if you need a toaster i'd probably get a better one i'd probably get a, a, a nice one that you like but if you need that emblem and you're a huge fan of destiny Burn those tricorn logos on. Toast piece after toast. Alright, that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If this was uh, entertaining at all, or interesting, or informative, subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace. Everything shuts off. Nope, 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 nope.